Hello, what's up, YouTube? Brownie Sweet, and I'm sure. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can do skin retouching in just 10 minutes. So, in these 10 minutes, I just want you to understand each and every single thing about skin retouching and how to process your raw files in Photoshop and color grade them in just 10 minutes. So, this is going to be a relatively fast tutorial, unlike the usual tutorials that I put on this channel. So, the very first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to come and double click on my raw file right there, and it's going to open into Photoshop. And I'm going to do the basic adjustments to this image. So I'm just going to come right down here to my adjustments and take my highlights down and do the same for my whites. Add some contrast into the image and take my blacks down just like that. But the image is a little bit underexposed. So I'm just going to open up my shadows just like that and open up my exposure slightly. And come to the tint and take it down slightly towards the greens. And I think that looks good. I'm just going to take this to my clarity to around 4 and that looks perfect so after doing that I'm just going to hit open in order to open the image into Photoshop to do a skin retouching on this very image so it is going to take a while as usual and if at all you're watching and haven't subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button on this video so that you don't miss out on more, many videos on this channel in the near future so right now in Photoshop the very first thing I tend to do or with my images come to the crop tool and crop my image in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10 because I usually post the images on Instagram so I would prefer my composition to be like this because I don't want the over exposed highlights and simply hit enter on the keyboard so this is what we have right now and remember this is a 16 bit image right here so I'm just going to be doing frequency separation on this image by duplicating the background there twice by hitting Control command J twice and usually this is going to be our low frequency layer and this is going to be our high layer and the low layer contains the colors and the high layer contains the textures or the details so just come to the low frequency layer and turn off the high frequency layer come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur i want to blur out the details up to the point when they are starting to fade out from the image so look for the area that has prominent details or textures and take my blur radius up up to the point when they are starting to get lost so around 7 that looks good and hit ok and I'm going to come to the high frequency layer right here and just select it and activate it then come to image and come down to apply image right here and coming to apply image since this is a 16 bit image I'm just going to come to the layer select the low frequency layer and now channel is RGB then blending is going to be add for a 16 bit image and opacity 100 scale is to offset 0 and make sure I turn on the invert option but if I told you have an 8 bit image the blending has to be subtract the scale is going to be 2 and offset 128 and the invert option is not going to be turned on and simply hit ok and after doing that just come the blend mode and change it to linear light right here so after doing that I'm just going to come right here and select both layers and hit ctrl command G on the keyboard to group my layers and I can name these layers to FS for frequency separation just like that and after doing that open this by clicking down here and come to the low frequency layer and come under the brushes and simply right click and get the mixer brush tool the settings make sure it is a clean brush select the second option right here the weight is going to be 9 load 75 mix 90 flow 100 make sure sample layers is not checked because when it is checked it means that it's going to also copy information from the texture layer and we only want to blend the details within the skin all the colors right in the low frequency layer so turn off the high frequency layer and now you have to zoom in slightly and using the box brackets on the keyboard or the open bra open and close brackets on the keyboard simply start left click and start painting to even out the skin tones in the image so that they can really be smooth and you have a nice and even skin tone transition so reduce on the size by using the box brackets on the keyboard like I've said and now just come and even out the unevenness within the skin tones just like that so I've turned off the layer that contains the textures because I just want to deal with the skin tones for this case so just come and start evening out the tones just like that using a mixer brush tool and the settings remember this is a soft uh, mixer brush tool that's what I'm using to blend or even out the skin tone transitions come to other areas of the skin and just paint through using a mixer brush tool 
just like that and now just come down here and also paint those areas i hope you can see what you're doing right now and now come to this other area and also paint through just like that so you have to take your time while doing this but i'm just trying to do a tutorial for those people that tend to think like i talk a little bit slow or you really want something that is going to save your time as you can do other things after doing or after watching the tutorial so after doing that i'm just going to come and activate my high frequency layer and right now you can see what we have the before and after for skin retouching i'm just going to use command minus to zoom out and come and get the lasso tool make sure i feather in this 22 pixels and new the new selection or the first option is activated and now I have to zoom in to the image and now make a selection by left clicking and drawing on the skin area. And remember, what I have to do right now, I'm just going to come back to filter, blur, and come to Gaussian blur right here. And now after doing that, this radius I usually multiply it by 3 to get the perfect skin texture. So this radius 7 by 3, you get 21. So I'm just going to type in 21 and come and apply that effect to the rest of uh, the image just like that. So make selections, right click and come to Gaussian Blur. And if at all you feel the effect is too much, you can simply right click on that selection and simply fade or reduce on the intensity of that effect on that particular area of the image. So I'm just basically trying to uh, perfect the areas I may have missed out when I'm using the Mixer Brush tool in Photoshop. So I'm just going to zoom out and this looks fine for me. So I want to remove the textures or the blemishes from the model's face so come and select the layer that contains the textures and now come right here to my clone stamp tool opacity and flow at 100 align the selected and current layer mode has been selected now i have to zoom in right here and i'm going to remove the imperfections or the blemishes by holding down alternate to sample from a clean area close the blemish and simply painting through to eliminate uh, the blemishes from the image just like that and I think this looks good. Hope we are see we are still on time rather. So sample and paint over the blemishes uh, to uh, eliminate or get rid of them. So I hope this looks good. And now just come and work on various areas. I think we still have three minutes to uh, do everything in this tutorial. So just come right here and come and eliminate the blemishes or you can even eliminate these flyaway hairs from uh, the model's face the model skin rather so i'm just going to do this zoom out by using ctrl command minus to zoom out and now just come right here and i'm just going to eliminate this line right here on the armpit just right there so i just want to blend the skin tone right here and what i'm going to do i'm going to come to the low frequency layer and click on the new layer mode and come the brushes right here right click and get a soft round brush i'm just going to be using a low flow of around 15 percent hold down the alternate to sample color from this area and come and simply start painting just like that and i think that flow is too much command z to undo that just going to reduce on the i'm just going to take the flow up and reduce on the opacity instead all the way down to around five and just come and paint through increase on the size and just paint through just like that to try to blend or even out the tones just like that so i think this looks good and let's see a before and after so far this is a before and after before after so after doing that let's just do something fine we're done with the skin retouching and now anything i want to do i'm just going to come to my selective color and simply intensify on my blacks of the image and now create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard and come back to the camera filter to do the eye whitening so i'm just going to come to filter camera roll filter and i'm just going to do the eye whitening and use the same method for the teeth whitening so i'm just going to come right here zoom into the eyes come the adjustment brush tool make sure the temperature is down up to around negative 25 the tint is around 66 highlights around five and also the whites and my saturation is going to be all the way down to around negative 60 and simply paint in the white area of the eye remember i'm just whitening the eye of a model you can use the same technique to do the teeth whitening use the space bar and move around to another eye and simply paint right there 
and I think this looks good. So I'm just going to come to the color grading or the final step for this image, which is the color grading. So just come all the way down to the HSL panel and simply come to the luminance and simply slightly darken the oranges and reduce the saturation of the oranges for the image. And this looks good. So I feel like I should add a little bit of contrast to this image and simply open it back into Photoshop. So basically, this is it. And the best way to export your image after you have refreshed it at a very fast pace is simply coming right here to file. Remember, I just want to export this image so that it doesn't change in color after you've been able to export it in Photoshop. So just come to file and come right down to export and come right down to export as. And it's going to take a few seconds to load into this new exporters window and let's just give it time i know my 10 minutes are done right now and we are done retouching of course so after doing that the quality has to be at 100 and the format is jpeg because this is supported by most social media and most websites so if i told you want a very sharp image after retouching your image just come to resample and just come and open this to and select by cubic sharper if i told you don't want the image to change in color after i've been able to retouch it just come right here and select convert sRGB and also embed the color profile and after doing that it is going to highlight this export option and you're going to be able to export it after doing skin retouching so basically this is how to do skin retouching in less than 10 minutes and we have done skin retouching from the very start to the very end so just come and hit export and you can choose a folder from where to export your image so just simply hit save and your image is going to be saved in that tray folder so this is all for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you haven't subscribed this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating